Welcome to Tarragona from Cell Specs. Today I'm going to show you how to intensely calibrate your spectrometer and talk about the black level. I have my system set up so I'm shining light from a white LED through a 1cm cuvette and measuring the transmitted spectra with my USB 2000 Plus. I'm plotting the intensity spectrum in this graph and I'm plotting the intensity at the peak at 562 nanometers as a function of time in this graph. In this graph I have the attenuation spectrum and in this I have the change in attenuation which is defined as the change in attenuation for my first spectrum I collect. So my attenuation spectrum is defined as the log of the intensity spectrum divided by the reference spectrum. My sample in my cuvette is just buffer and so my attenuation spectrum should be zero. So my reference spectrum is simply the my measured attenuation spectrum. First I need to talk about the black level. If I turn off my light source I can still detect a spectrum even though there's no light falling on my detector. So the intensity spectrum with the light source on has an offset and it's not proportional to the light passing through my sample. So I can try and correct for this spectrum by putting by doing the electrical dark correction. But even now when I collect data you can see that my spectrum is still not flat and zero. So this is the black level of the black spectrum and I need to measure it and then subtract it off subsequent spectra. So to do that I go into the system menu and the setup for the USB 2000 and I click the measure button. And that will collect 30 spectra with a very short integration time and then average them and store them as the black level. And also it gives me the, my readout noise at the same time. So now when I collect spectra and you can see my intensity spectrum is now flat and zero. So I can now turn my light source back on and do my intensity calibration. For my intensity calibration, I need to collect about 30 spectra. So I'll start collecting. And these are my spectra. So I need to collect about 30, so I need to wait a moment. So now I've collected about 30. I'll stop collecting. I go to the acquire menu, intensity calibration, and just click OK. Tarragona will now average these spectra together to form the reference. Now, when I start collecting data, you can see that my attenuation spectrum is now flat and zero, and I've done my intensity calibration. I can now add my sample to my cuvette and measure its attenuation spectrum. So I hope this was useful. Thank you very much.